Belgian chocolate, the best in the world? You're about to find out. No, they saved us, bro. Thank God. And our first chocolate stop is La Belgique Gourmande. All right, let's get out of that rain. My friend, how you doing? Fantastic. So our concept is to select the best artisan in Belgium. Like this, you can try the best chocolate and the best Belgian product. And also, it's self-service, so you can create your own. You can take a box or a bag and mix it and max whatever you want. Wow, this looks amazing. Can I have another one? Like this one right here? Uh, yes. Let's do this. Oh, that one is nice and crunchy. Cacao butter. Mmm, so pure, so good. Hey, bonjour. How are you? Very good. So this is why we came here, to make our own chocolate. So I'm gonna get behind with you, right? Let's go, let's go. This is gonna be great. I'm excited. Oh, chocolate, I'm a chocolate, I wouldn't say addict, I'd say even beyond chocolate addict. Every night I have... Chocoholic. Chocoholic, chocoholic, exactly. So how does this work? How does this experience so go? This is something that you can personalize. You choose the size. We have two sizes of plants. We are going to have a two, 120 and then we are going to have a 250. The base, the, so the price for base, this one's going to be 490 for the small one and 890 for the big one. Each time you take a topping, for example, if it's going to be the writing, if it's going to be the toppings that you see like a frame right here, that's going to be 50 cents each. So normally we would say for the big ones it's gonna be between 10, 11, and for the small one between five, six, seven. So. Go with the bigger one, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think it's worth it. Yeah? This is like okay. beautiful. So I'm gonna just show you how to put it in the mold, and then I will let you put it whatever you want, decorate it as you want. Okay? So she's gonna put it in the mold, and then I'll do the rest for hygienic purposes. Exactly. So which chocolate do you prefer, dark, milk, white? Oh, I'm a dark guy. Dark. Dark. Yeah. And it's actually 54%, so it's not going to be in the bitter side, but yeah. mostly... I'm a 90% guy, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I like that, that pure cacao. <laughs> That's a little bit too much for me. Is it? Yeah. I, the thing is that when you eat it like that, you can eat so much, and it's, exactly. it's, it's healthier. Exactly, it's healthier. And that was it. Though. She put it in the mold. Then now you have like... Over here? time to put whatever you want on it and then it will be 20 minutes in the fridge. So there's chocolate chips, I see uh, pistachios, exactly. got marshmallows. We have hazelnuts right there, we have caramelized hazelnuts, marshmallows. This one is speculous, it's like Belgian biscuits. Mm -hmm. Very fresh, very fresh. 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 Very f
and then I put like the white chocolate inside. Inside where you can write whatever you want. Perfect, let's do it. I will cut a little pieces and then you can write on it. So a quick test. The more you push on the bone, the more it's gonna, the chopper is gonna get out. Perfect. So it works. That's the test. It's like a, 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 a. So I'm gonna try. Gonna yeah, I'm gonna try. Okay. Oh wow. Come on, great, right? Yay. Melina and Sienna, and then I'll do like something like here, like. They're very hearts. They love hearts, so I always do a lot of hearts for them. I mean, we have this whole thing, right? And then, and then I was gonna put like here. Try my best to write Belgium. I mean, I'm pretty good at this, right? I did a good job. So what do we do next with it? We put it to like... Then we put it in the fridge like 20 minutes and then that will be easier to, to take it out of the mold. So let me show you, this is my design. Very beautiful. I should have gone with milk chocolate because they love milk chocolate. It'll be done in 20 minutes. So while we wait, we'll walk around and try some chocolates. Why not? Perfect. <laughs> the praline is the most classic and the most famous Belgian chocolate. It was invented here in 1912 by John Mahaus. So now everyone knows that this is the most famous. Everyone in the world used the word praline for the field chocolate. As you can see, right over here we have a lot of pralines and people are in love with it. So it's been a while since I've tried a praline and I never tried it in Belgium, so I'm excited. So you say praline or pralines? Praline in English, praline. And what is your favorite of these? Salted caramel. Salted caramel. <clears throat> Takes so creamy inside. The salt in here. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Which is this one? Speculos. Speculos. So that's the like the Belgian, Belgian cookie. Yeah. Unreal. The pure cacao. 100% right there. One more. One more. One more. Let's try um, with alcohol. With alcohol. So this is alcoholic pralines. Do right there. Try the white chocolate. Oh, it's let's do white. To bite like this, you can see the cream inside because it's interesting. Mm. It's like fudgy. Whoa, it's so good. It's like the ultimate white chocolate. How for you? Is it true what they say that white chocolate is less healthy than no normal chocolate? The people say this because it's not dark chocolate. Yeah, it's mostly cacao. No, and the hazelnut on top? This <laughs> is like, come here. You're in like chocolate heaven. Wow, I love the that the circus there. So it's like almost like buffet style. Just get a little little box and with the box you fill up and you choose anything you want they have so many different options how many different like uh, products do you have in terms of chocolate like you can till 40 50 different truffles pralines dry fruits with chocolate a marshmallow with chocolate here and I want to recommend you something Which one do you recommend only in Belgium the Belgian jelly we call Cuberdon this is the most typical product and you can find it only in Belgium. Yeah? It's a 100% vegan product. Mmm, nice jelly. 100% vegan. Is it locum? Yeah, this is the locum. <laughs> this is locum. Very tasty. Extremely sweet. I'm in a chocolate coma now. Thank you. Thank you. I am in a chocolate coma. And it's only the first stop. It's like, yeah, no, it's great. Literally this strip is all chocolate. And our next stop is Newhouse since 1857. Wow, and this is John Jr. Newhouse in chocolate form. Wow, this place is beautiful. Look at the chocolates. So they just gave me this book with the history of Newhouse and amazing story. So this is the grandson of the original owner. He came here, he's a Swiss pharmacist, came here in uh, 1857 and what he did is he opened a pharmacy and he was giving you know, his prescription drugs and people didn't like it, it didn't taste good. So he just added chocolate and they were like, wow. But then later his grandson you know, added hazelnut, other things, and that's how the praline or the praline was invented. And that's what we see here. Amazing shops, so many chocolates. It's never ending. They have different packages and I like how they have them like this 
almost like a, you know, a little tube. Beautiful, this one has sesame and quinoa. Never seen that before. It's not a tube, it's like a football. Like an American football. And we're gonna try some over here. Oh, wow. They're all praline? This, this one is all praline. So what do we have there? The definition of praline, it's a chocolate with a filling. Every chocolate with a filling, it's a praline. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I guess I'll try a lot. Uh, let's see, let's see. This one looks like the football. And this is iconic here, this shape. Nice crunch inside, like a cookie. Whoa, hazelnut, you have the fudge in the outer layer, amazing. This one's vanilla. That last one, the best. Mm -hmm. Nice vanilla, super creamy, like melts the fudge. I'm having like a sugar rush. And then we go with the heart. And this is the daughter, right? Mmm, raspberry. It's so good, but it's a lot of chocolate. Okay, if there's one everybody has to try, which is it? This one or this one. That one or that? Caramel or I like that a lot. I'll do a caramel. One last one. You're in Belgium ones. Last one. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Mmm. The salt with chocolate, that combo. If you like chocolate, from the Brussels. My friends, too good. This place is amazing. Where's the bed? I need a bed. <laughs> Next time, a la proce. Friend, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Merci. I see you next time. A la proce. All right, let's go. So here I make the workshop. I teach uh, the people how to make chocolate. Like a chocolate bar, like a ten katongs, and two prints. Like this. And I thought that was it. <laughs> Which one do you want to try? Whatever you recommend. Uh, do you like sweet chocolate or bitter chocolate? I like bitter. I'm a bitter guy. I'm 90%. Yeah, yeah bitter is where The dark one. <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> oh, wow. Let me see. Welcome, Peter. Let me see. No, it's that I just had so much chocolate. We've been eating since 10 a.m. Waffle. Ah, yeah. Oh, Belgian chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. So this is not ice cream, this is chocolate mousse. Oh. This is chocolate orgasm. Yes. Orgasmic. This is too much. This is like the best thing on earth. Wow. So much chocolate, so little stomach. Yes. They like it. I love this. Yes. This is the best. Yes. And you gave me two, two scoops. What? Yeah, but it's the classic one. Mm. Thank you for hurting my stomach. <laughs> no, this is a must. We're only here once, right? I just have to have one more bite. So I've tried non-stop chocolate, but you know what? Oh, this is, and it shows you where the cacao bean comes from. Ghana, yeah, from Ecuador? Yes, from San Domingo. San Domingo. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, so I think, because my, my daughters like milk, I'll take, I'll take two milks for them. Merci beaucoup, merci. That's a must. This is the best mousse of all time. So good. The problem here is it's too much chocolate. I need a break. I'm gonna take a chocolate break. Give me some time. There's literally a chocolate shop every single corner here in Brussels. We don't really have anything else scheduled. We'll see where we go. Also, right here we have Godiva. This is like the most famous Belgian chocolate in the world. Since 1926, this is one of my favorite chocolates. I always get it in Miami. Where are we? We're in Grand Platz. Grand Platz right here. Wow. This is the most famous square. This is the place you have to visit when you come to Belgium. It's gorgeous, look at that. 11th century medieval square. How's the chocolate tour going? It's going good, but no one else wants us to film, so <laughs> we're trying our best. We'll see if we can go into any other shops. We're gonna try Pierre Marcolini's chocolate. This is one of the most famous chocolates in Brussels, and I'm excited. They drunk cool. Is this this? No, it's not this. Okay. Chocolate ganache, 72%. The chocolate ganache inside, and you have the origin of the cookie bean written on it. The origin, so it's from Peru. Oh, wow, you spell it up. Peru. Peru. Looks great. Mm -hmm. Nice. Not like too fudgy. 
Oh my God, it's like epic. Ganache, no? Yes. So we have truffles, Grand Cru, Malin. So that's like a mixed box. It's a discovery box. Yeah. Discovery box. Yes. So it's beautiful. 40 euros, fantastic. I love the presentation. And what are these? Because they're all different colors. I mean, you can just choose. That's Belgian chocolate in Brussels. Goodbye.